today's video, I'm just going to be showing you some footage of our latest journey to Panama City as a club team. So this time we represented Belize under the name of Stars Academy, who were the champions of the U17 category in football. So this was just a little bit of what happened throughout our time there and um, it was such a great experience and every single day i'm becoming more and more of a football fan so it was great i hope you guys enjoy today's video at the hotel i just eat <laughs> i'm tired i don't know why anybody else I'm really sleepy. See you tomorrow. So guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valen May. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, if you haven't subscribed as yet, I would really appreciate it if you did. So in today's video, I'm vlogging here in Panama. Ta-da! Okay, so this is not like the best view. But I promise I'm gonna get some good stuff. Some good shots as the days go by. It's my first time actually staying um, in, in the country because I usually just transit. But it is it does seem very beautiful. It's very like the infrastructure is so nice. And the architecture and at nighttime from above, it's so beautiful. But I just wasn't expecting this. Of course, me being from a small place like Belize, we don't have much skyscrapers. We don't really have a mall per se. So, yeah, it is different. Okay, so let's go to training. Alrighty, so this was day one of um, training. There were three days of training in total. And usually it took us between 15 to 40 minutes to get to the stadiums which we practiced and we were also going to play depending on the match that we had so on our way there we saw many beautiful places and it was really nice just getting to see um somewhere else and then we finally got to the cos sports plaza stadium it was where we trained and where we would get ready to face our first opponent which was um plaza amadores i believe um they were a very 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 strong team they said that they were back-to-back -back champions in this category which was the u17 category but nevertheless we were training we did what we usually do um they warmed the guys up and then focused on different things whether attacking or defending different tactics of the game goalkeepers had a fun time with their coach just loosening up and then working on some footwork some ball control agility and speed drills and um also a little bit of scanning later on and so when all of that was finished we went back to the bus and then back to the hotel so guys we're at the hotel do, 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 do. and really this is like getting like repetitive because every time um every time i go on like one of these trips you can't go nowhere you can't say nothing until the last day that when then i give like leeway for like you know just look around once before we we took like a walk around the block just to like you know make make we I don't know what other word, settle, but something like that, and we not do that much anymore. Everybody have their rules and regulations, so. I don't know if this is too repetitive for Uno or not, leave it below in the comments if this is too repetitive, the anti type of bit, um, vlogs. Today was pretty eventful. I got this little candy, it's a bun bun. So, me and the day me normal, then got train, come back, take a nap, just take a lee walk around the block, uh, got something like this, 
came back and the guys were requesting my assistance so I helped Finally, and we're getting ready. The boys are out there um, warming up. I'm gonna show you that in a second, guys. So, this was the first game of the tournament, and um, we did not do as good as we thought we would have. Uh, so the, the strikers had a really hard time connecting, and we had about 12 opportunities, and we scored none, while the other team had about 10 and they scored six. So that's the main problem right now. And I usually notice that with Belizean teams, or, or yeah, teams coming out of Belize, in this case, Stars Academy from Belize City, um, we always do the worst in our first game. I don't know if it's because of jitters or, or what, but we need to get out of this habit for real because we play better with each game. Um, that might be the case for many other people, but we need to start strong in the first place. I didn't get any clips of the first game just because my phone died. And so I'm really sorry about that. But this was a ride back home. Thankfully, it was not raining um, while we were playing. So I just finished off like 10 players. So I was planning on taking a dip in the warm pool let's see what's going on in here it's not too warm but i think it'll do uh. so i was a little achy it's just because i didn't set my massage table to the right height for me so my back was under a bit of pressure but when i got back i made sure to change that and everything else was good for the rest of the trip no one's around. This is my little free break time, so I'm just gonna come into the pool. Uh, the first game we we had was against um, a pretty strong team, and so we weren't able to win, but we had some good looks. Our goalkeeper made a ton of saves. Um, so in some ways, we did really well, and in others, you know, we just couldn't perfect it. This was off day two. We here we were doing some activation, just getting the guys up and ready. I told them to wear shoes, but a lot of them said they didn't want to crease their shoes, so they were not going to wear them. So yeah yeah boys will be boys i guess but anyways here they were here they were doing they were doing a pasadita so the loser had to go through a tunnel of smacks but of course they said that they weren't gonna do it too hard because it was all for fun um next they did some drills focusing on speed agility and of course the team who lost again got pasadita this time a little harder but so you go i guess and they were having fun they were <laughs> they were definitely having some fun and that's always good to see Afterwards, they also had training and they rested. So now this was game two. They were playing against the popular team in Nicaragua called Real Esteli. Now they were also champions of their group in um, Nicaragua. So we were going up against a lot of champions. Stars also came up, came out on top um, in this category as well. So a battle of the champions, I guess. In this game, I made sure to take a lot of clips. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you notice any players um, that you know or that you think you know, just send them this link and let them check out some clips of the game.
I love rewatching these clips. It just shows um, how good the guys are playing, and I don't know. It shows how sad we are sometimes because we can't, we just can't finish yet. <laughs> So after we verified it, it was an actual goal and we were robbed of a draw. That was a pretty intense game um, for the guys and they ate, we did a little bit of therapy afterward, Creo along with Thermo did some tens on some people that needed it because of course not all do but later on this was day three of training and we were in panama city fc's home grounds it was so nice i always love seeing these places like i'll tell you in a little while but i i really like this place in particular
So here I was waiting for them to get all changed and um, waiting for the bus to come back so we could go back to our hotel. I don't know why I'm not pronouncing my words right lately, but there you go. <laughs> Like I always like, I'm always amazed when we go to other countries and see the development in sports. It's crazy. Of course, they've been around for a longer time than Belize, Belize's um, clubs, but the development, the people who are willing to fund, man. That is crazy. A really, really, really nice place. Equipped with everything you need. So after we went back to the hotel, I decided to try and get some face products that I seriously needed, like a foaming cleanser, a water-based cleanser, moisturizers face masks things like that to replenish my dry and dull skin my severely burnt skin so i got those and then i came back to the hotel applied them and i just waited for a little while and then put in our group chat what i needed from the guys so i could start my therapy and then afterwards here we were getting ready for our third game which was against Boca Juniors from Honduras and that's Stanley. <laughs> So this game against Boca Jr. was pretty good and we ended up drawing at 2-2. There were a lot of really good efforts put in. Um, both goals were actually scored by our midfielders. So yeah, we have a lot to work on attacking wise. This was the third game for the boys and they were starting to um, fatigue just a bit more than usual and we... Um, Tried our best to keep them hydrated and well rested. Hi guys, so today is the end of October 4th. Um, we played our game against Boca Junior. Yesterday, had a rest day, a training day today. Um, everything went well, a lot of players are sore. That's just because they don't stretch and I don't think that they're drinking enough water even though you know, we tell them to um, sleep is very important. A lot of them have been sleeping right. Getting a, a good amount of sleep is important so a lot of them are doing that so that's great. I'm gonna try to look around me and see if any lady around me are breed but <laughs> I don't see none so they still have me and be for the rest of the time. But yeah. Almost time to head back home and I'm excited. Bye. See you tomorrow.